Good morning, team. This is Admiral Richardson, the Chief of Naval Operations. Like you, I was devastated and heartbreaking, broken to hear about the collision of the USS John McCain off of Singapore. Uh, they have moored in Singapore right now, and all of our assistance is flowing to the ship and the crew. Uh, that is our primary focus right now, the safety of the crew and the ship and taking care of their families. I'd like to thank everybody who has helped us get to this point, including and especially the Republic of Singapore Navy. Admiral Swift, the commander of the Pacific Fleet, is en route to take charge and to make sure that they have all the assistance that they need. We'll continue to provide you updates as we learn more about the John S. McCain. As you know, this is the second collision in three months and the last in a series of incidents in the Pacific Theater. This trend demands more forceful action. As such, I would direct a, an operational pause be taken in all of our fleets around the world. I want our fleet commanders to get together with their leaders and their commands to ensure that we're taking all appropriate immediate actions to ensure safe and effective operations around the world. In addition to that operational pause, I've directed a more comprehensive review to ensure that we get at the contributing factors, the root causes of these incidents. This review is in addition to the investigations that are looking into the details of the collisions of the USS Fitzgerald and now the USS John S. McCain. I've asked Admiral Phil Davidson, the commander of USS Fleet Forces Command, to take charge of that investigation. I will examine the process by which we train and certify our forces that are forward deployed in Japan to make sure that they'll, we're doing everything we can to make them ready for operations and war fighting. Uh, this will include, but not be limited to, looking at operational tempo, trends in personnel, materiel, maintenance, and equipment. It will also include a review of how we train and certify our surface warfare community, including tactical and navigational proficiency. Now, I want to make as many resources across the Navy available to Admiral Davidson in the conduct of this review. And that will include the Naval Inspector General, the Naval Safety Center, and others. I want this to be a broad and diverse team, including officer and enlisted from across the Navy, and also people outside the Navy, the other services, and the private sector. I want this team to be as diverse as they can be so that we don't miss anything in our review. This review will be on a very tight timeline. I want to get frequent updates. This requires urgent action. We need to get to it and, and take corrective action. Finally, I will be getting updates throughout and I'll keep our leadership informed. In closing, our thoughts and prayers go out to the sailors and families of USS John McCain and USS Fitzgerald. We need to get to the bottom of this, so let's get to it.